This is, without a doubt, one of the most remarkable finds we've ever had at Bletchley Park. It's remarkable that a camera made its way to Warden because the whole Bletchley Park and Warden cooperation was extremely secret. I had no idea that I would ever see anything like it at all. It really was time warp. The only known film footage of a secret site connected to Bletchley Park has been donated to Bletchley Park Trust. The footage shows people working at Wadden Hall, the wartime home of an MI6 unit closely linked to Bletchley Park. This unprecedented discovery provides us with a rare glimpse into the world of people occupied in some of the most secret work of World War II. So the Wardenhall film is a really, really significant addition to our collection. Not only does it show us the place and the people in wartime, but it's actually the first piece of film footage we're aware of that shows any activity associated with Bletchley Park at all. Watching the film, for me, as a historian, and when I spend most of my time in, in typescript, reading documents in the National Archives, dealing with official materials, uh, something that's completely unofficial and probably actually would have been frowned upon at the time if anyone had known about it, um, really gives an extra layer to it. And it does kind of bring them to life in a way that looking at them in still photographs just, just doesn't. There were very young people working here doing incredibly important work under quite difficult conditions of secrecy and also in wartime with friends and relatives fighting overseas. I think actually seeing them, seeing them move around, seeing them talk, seeing them smile, just really connects us very closely to those people. Warden Hall is the home of MI6 Section 8, and Section 8 are responsible for communications. So where that relates to Bletchley Park is that when intelligence was produced by Bletchley Park, when messages were decrypted, those messages had to be conveyed to the people who needed to use them around the world, uh, commanders on the battlefield, Montgomery in the desert, Patton in Normandy, whoever. And that was done by wireless from Warden Hall. Compared to Bletchley Park, Warden is, is quite a small setup. Whereas there were, by the end of the war, there were thousands of people working here. There were never more than, you know, a hundred working at Warden. There was a hut they built nearby to Warden Hall on a site called Windy Ridge with about 20 operator positions sending traffic. So that they were the people who were actually tapping out the Morse code for the messages to go wherever they needed to go. The veterans are such an important link for us at Bletchley Park now. They are an incredible source of knowledge and experience. And in this case, we would never have been able to identify everyone in that film without the help of Geoffrey, who had been there and worked with those people. You've got some of the leading wireless engineers in the country there. To find them all brought together, it's, it's remarkable. It's remarkable that you've got the film. It's remarkable that it's, some of it is recognisable, that it was taken in Wadden. Both Geoffrey and his father worked at Wadden Hall in World War II, and we were hoping he would be able to tell us a bit about it and help us identify some of the people in the, in the film. And we showed it to him for the first time, and partway through the film, he spotted his father. That's my father! and that's my father, and there he was. I'd never seen my father on a cine film before. We didn't have cine cameras, had a box brownie, and I was quite shaken. And uh, I wish you had taken the film with me then, because I, I think I was very, very surprised. I think he and his family were quite moved, because I think his father died in the 1950s, so he's been gone for a long time, and to suddenly see him smiling away on the screen was... Uh, uh, quite a powerful moment for Geoffrey, I think. If they could see it now, I think they'd be actually rather proud of what they've done. I think, in, in a way, I am too. We were part of what was actually a big operation and successful operation. Bletchley Park could not have operated without us.